Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video, an updated video showing you how to install the latest Cyanogen Mod 9 ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G. It's now in beta state, so that's uh, that's really good. They're making really great progress, pretty much getting rid of all of the bugs. Um, I will uh, link to uh, the bugs in the description of the video. I won't go over them in this video, so this video stays at current. But I will uh, go over bugs in the description of the video below. So if you want to check those out, go ahead and do so. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So what we're going to need to do first is obviously make sure you have a Clockwork Mod and you are rooted. Uh, to have Clockwork Mod, you will need to make sure you have Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 and not ACS Recovery. Um, I believe some users have reported issues with ACS recovery. I will link to a video in the description on how to install Clockwork Mod 5 in case you are not on that now. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. So once you have Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 on your device, you're going to need to click on the link in the description of the video. And once you click on the link in the description of the video, it will take you to this website, the official Epic 4G CM9 website. Big shout out to all the devs for getting, making this possible, New Banal, Warren, uh, everyone that uh, made this possible. So big shout out to all the CM team for the Epic 4G. But anyways, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download two files, the ROM itself and the G apps. The ROM itself will be right here. It says CM9 Alpha 5 right now that will be updated very soon to beta, so stay tuned for that. Um, so download the latest, which will be right there. Um, any of these mirrors, just any of these numbers will work. You're also going to need to download the G apps, which would be the Google Apps add-on, which needs to be flashed right after the ROM install. So uh, that will give you Market, Gmail, etc. Just click on this, and it will actually take you to Google.com. It'll take you to a search for Google.com. It will uh, search for the latest G apps. They cannot link to it directly, but so it'll take you to this Google search. Just click on the top link. And under signage about nine, just click on this link right here and that will be the latest uh, download. So that would be the best way to do that. So you're gonna need to download that ROM file. So any of those numbers, just click on the ROM file and then you're gonna need to click on the other link and it'll take you to the Google site. Go to uh, the top website and it'll take you to the latest G apps. So download both of those zips, the ROM itself and the G apps and transfer them over to your micro SD card. So make sure both of those are on your phone and go back to your phone. And once we are back to our phone, we are going to need to get into our custom recovery. So go ahead and power off your phone. We're going to need to get into Clockwork Mod. Just a heads up, um, if you are on uh, CM9 already, you do not need to wipe. So if you're on CM9 already, you do not need to follow this process that I'm going to show. The process I'm showing is if you're coming from another ROM, whether it be CM7 or another TouchWiz ROM or MIUI, MIUI. so uh, keep that in mind. But if you're on a CM9 Alpha ROM, you shouldn't need to wipe data. You should just be able to just install the ROM itself. So keep that in mind. To get into our custom recovery, press and hold volume down, camera button, power button, all at the same time. Keep it held down. I press and hold to the bottom back, let keys light up. And it should take us into our custom recovery now. And it did. As you can see, Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 as it should be. So let's go ahead and zoom in right here on our custom recovery. And now that we have our custom recovery right here, what we're going to need to do now is go ahead and scroll down and go down to uh, Backup and Restore. So whether you are on CM9 or not, I'd highly recommend making an Android backup. So do go to Backup, backup and Restore regardless of what your, uh, what your setup is, select it, and then make an Android backup. So just hit Backup. So make sure you do have an Android backup on your device. Uh, just to ensure that if anything goes wrong, you can restore that backup. Anyways, once that backup is done, what we're going to need to do now is go down to Wipe Data Factory Reset. As I said, if you're on CM9, you do not need to wipe data. So keep that in mind. This is only for if you're coming from another ROM. So hit Delete All User Data, hit Yes. It's going to go ahead and format the data. Um, make sure you have any backups that you do need. Backup your contacts, your apps, etc. Whether it be with Titanium Backup or whatever app you like to use. But once that's done, what I'm going to recommend now is go down to Wipe Cache Partition and hit Yes. Wipe Cache. So it's going to wipe cache and I go to the Advanced menu and hit Yes. And hit Wipe Dalvik Cache and then hit Yes. So it's going to go ahead and wipe all of those for us. And once done, we can just hit the back arrow. 
and then go down to install zip from SD card. So install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and navigate to wherever that latest ROM file will be. It'll be whatever you download it, whatever it's called. Uh, it'll just be the latest SignageMod 9 zip and select it and hit install. So it's gonna go ahead and run through the install process of the ROM. It will take a little bit longer than uh, anything else. What it's gonna do is go ahead and reboot. It actually installed the recovery needed to install the ROM and then it'll reboot. It'll go back into our custom recovery. It should be a newer custom recovery now and then it'll finish the install of the ROM. So as you can see, it will finish the install of the ROM now, but once it's done, don't reboot, but I will be back once it's done. All right, and once the ROM is done installing, as you can see, it automatically rebooted my phone, but we're not done yet. We still need to go back and install those G apps. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it boot up. And once it boots up, I will be back. Oh, as you can see, very nice new signage of my nine boot animation. Nice that they implemented that. But as I said, I will be back. Okay, so our phone has rebooted. We're not done yet. Now just go ahead and hit reboot and hit recovery and hit okay, because we're gonna need to go back into our custom recovery to finish installing the G apps add-on. So keep that in mind. If you don't do this, you will not have market. You will not have Google talk, uh, etc. So all those uh, good Google apps. So let this reboot into our custom recovery. Should go straight into it. And like I said, it did go right into the custom recovery. Um, as you can see right here, uh, but what we're going to need to do now is just go to install zip from SD card, select that, choose zip from SD card, and then navigate to that latest uh, G apps add on. It's called G apps ICS, bunch of numbers, zip, and select it and hit yes, install. So then it's going to go ahead and install the latest Google Apps add on. I don't know if it's going to automatically reboot your phone like it did with the ROM install, uh, but keep that in mind, it will uh, go ahead and install those. All right, as you can see, install from SD card complete. That's done, just hit the back arrow and then just hit reboot system now. So it's gonna go ahead and reboot your device and that would be it. So that would be how to install the latest Signage Mod 9 ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G. Um, as you can see, uh, it'll boot back up back into the new CM9 boot animation, but that would be it. So uh, definitely be sure to check out my review video. I'll be doing a separate review video. I'll link to that in the description of the video. So be sure to check that out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.